Well, it was a beautiful weekend in Cincinnati and for the second straight week, a busy weekend for downtown. So how did the city handle it? Local 12's Joe Webb found out. On the heels of Taste of Cincinnati and 13,000 riders on the streetcar the last weekend in May, the first weekend in June was primed for a letdown, but it delivered. The 6th Bunbury Festival had three beautiful nights and 46,000 people in attendance. As they tore down and packed up today, the promoter applauded the city, the venue, and the hospitality. He says he's ready for Bunbury 7. We'll be back bigger and better than ever. So our goal is this area can hold 20,000 people over the three days. So our goal is to sell out at 60,000. So we haven't done that yet, so that's my goal next year. Bunbury crowds rub shoulders with baseball fans from three Reds games with 20,000 fans apiece. It's a lot of people, many of them drinking, in the same part of town. But Cincinnati police say it was remarkably peaceful. Across town, crowds were tweaked by the 14th annual Cincy Fringe Festival. 2,700 people attended more than 60 performances scattered around over the Rhine. The way that we have these crowds on the streets and uh, enjoying the neighborhood and being able to see all these shows is just really remarkable. So I feel like uh, it's been such an incredible evolution of the city and the festival over the last 15 years. Cincy Fringe continues every so night great. until next Sunday. Yeah. There were a lot of people in downtown this weekend, but starting next week, city streets will be crawling with people who will be leaving their mark on downtown. A small army of Artworks apprentices got their marching orders today. 130 students aged 14 to 21 will turn bland brick walls into the city's trademark murals. 12th and Walnut will get an Edie Harper mural to complement her husband Charlie Harper's mural. Gonzo artist Ralph Stedman's first ever mural will cover the Coffee Emporium storage building. In all in all, I think we have 35 murals. We have 16 or 18 projects, um, and we have one crazy, amazing crew in purple. And big crowds of people walking the streets who can see their work. In downtown, Joe Webb, Local 12 News. And the designs for this year's Artworks murals will be unveiled next Monday.